You know what? I, I didn't mind our first period. It was a uh, competitive second period. We just turned so many pucks over and and then uh, then it made it a couple critical mistakes that ended up in the back of our net. So we got time to uh, a huge goal, the, the power play goal at the end of the second to kind of give us some life going into the dressing room in the third. And then I thought the third, we were, we were much better. We, we played harder and uh, were more committed with the puck. And, uh, made a, Nuge made a, makes a great shot off a good play in the offensive zone, and Schmidt uh, was able to hang on for us. So it was, uh, we'll take the points and move on. You saw Dreisaitl have struggled through December and then mm-hmm. kind of turn his game around, and he just hasn't looked yeah. back since. What's the biggest uh, improvement? You know what? Uh, the, the biggest, he wants to be a top player. Like, he, he drives himself. And I, I, in December, our team was struggling a little bit. He was... I almost look at it, he was trying too hard. He was, you know, trying to do too much and putting himself in trouble. And now he just, he knows he's a big part of our team. He's got to play well. He's got to do his part. And he's just a beast out there. Like, you watch him play. He's all situations, too. It's not just power play. He's penalty kill, face offs. I mean, he's, he's a beast out there. So he's playing really well right now. And, and uh, you know, the line, I thought the line tonight, even without Yamo with Cass, jumped in there, did a good job for him. So course, but him and Nuge uh, made a good play for us, and that's the difference in the game. Something about the way Mike Smith goes about his business, like just that battle level, he's kind of all over the place, and just the intensity level that you don't normally see from a goalie. No, he, he's, uh, he's a leader. He's a leader and a goalie. You know, a lot of times the goaltender just gets in there and does his job, but he's one of the leaders in that room, and uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. I've known him since he walked in as a long-haired rookie in, in Dallas, and I've had him three places. He's ultra-competitive, ultra-competitive, and uh, you see what he can do when he gets in a tough situation. That last two minutes there, I just watched it on tape. He made some great saves, great saves. So uh, credit to him for keeping us in there, but, but like I say, we're, it's a good game for our team to learn because there's some good and some bad, and you you recognize what your what the top parts of the game were, and you try to correct them a little earlier, and you try to accentuate the good. So, going on this road trip, that's what we'll be looking for. Dave, do you consider Nuge a winger now, or is it? He said it was a major adjustment playing along the boards for a center. Uh, yeah, but he's so smart. Nuge is so smart. He reads situations. That's that's what makes him a real good player with dry settle because dry can get freelancing sometime, and Nuge just Nuge reads off him so well, you know. So. Uh, Nuge is just one of those guys, he, I don't know, he's, coaches have players and when you look down on the bench you see a guy and you look at his name and you just think that guy can do the job for you and that reputation is earned through his play and that's where Nuge is. So he's, he's so smart, he plays in all situations, he just, you look down, you, if you put him out there you know you're going to get what you're hoping for.